a squeaky wheel gets the grease. This adage is often used to describe a cry for help. But what about those who communicate in a way that is not understood? They are often left without aid or advocacy. Guatemala's special needs community is an example of this reality. Two major hurdles have prevented many children and adults with special needs from getting the care they need. Fragile economic condition and cultural misconceptions. Poverty has led to a culture of survival, leaving few resources to invest in support infrastructure. As a result, there are very few facilities equipped and dedicated to helping those with special needs. Traditional Mayan culture believes disabilities are a curse on a family for a previous sin. These beliefs encourage families to abandon children with special needs in order to end the curse. As a result, many children with special needs are left to die. Others who survive are severely neglected and live a life of isolation. But hope is rising. There are some who will not settle for status quo and are doing everything they can to make a difference. Dick Rutgers works with Hope Haven International and Bethel Ministries in Chimaltenango, Guatemala. Dick traveled to Guatemala 20 years ago as a wheelchair salesman. After seeing the situation firsthand, he decided to stay and serve those in need. Dick enriches the lives of Guatemala's forgotten, first and foremost through relationship. He devotes much of his time to loving the residents of a special needs hospital in Antigua called Hermano Pedro. His advocacy has not only brought practical help through wheelchairs, but has grown a community of understanding and encouragement He works in the surrounding communities to educate families about special needs and support their ability to care for their own. I have a father just visited up his way day before yesterday as well that says, I'm so sick and tired of everybody telling me it's some sin we did. He says, I just want this child out of here into an orphanage where I want him dead. I put my hand on his shoulder. I says, I'll bet when your son was born that he was blue in color and not breathing. That's right, how'd you know? I said, your son has cerebral palsy. It's nothing you did. It's nothing your wife did. The guy just shrunk. He just, oh, why didn't anybody tell us this before? Now I go into there and they're holding their kid and their kids are walking around playing with them. And so, but they just had it. No, it wasn't anything bad that they did. Dick's vision and relationships have resulted in amazing stories of transformation and integration. Over the years, Dick developed a special friendship with a young man named Fidel. Cerebral palsy limits Fidel's mobility to his left foot. This condition left Fidel stranded in a hospital bed. But Dick believed in more. Ten years ago, Dick provided Fidel with a motorized wheelchair. Despite his extremely limited muscle control, Fidel not only travels around the hospital, but has also taught himself how to use a laptop computer with his toe to design and program websites. He has completed his high school degree and now is taking college courses. Fidel's success story is surrounded by countless others which have not yet come to fruition. But hope is rising and change is possible. People like Dick Rutgers are responding and we have the opportunity to join them in their mission.